What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Eternal Evolution, and today we're going to be going back into the Easter Party. Of course, yesterday we went over the Easter Battle, we guys showed you guys some strategies and some good heroes, especially Ravenia uh, for Bombland. Uh, you can add res to that lineup, it can be really awesome, but today we're going to be talking about the running line, because I'm seeing a lot of people just do a couple things. They're just putting like their AoE damage dealers, their normal damage dealers in. However, at least from my experience, there has been a much better way. One of them honestly having to do with one of the newer commanders out there right now. So if we go to the command post and we take a look at this man right here, Aubeck, this one is a really awesome tank synergy here. So it says when allied heroes knock an enemy down, they inflict bonus damage equal 25% of their max HP to the target, cannot exceed 20% of their own. And then when three or more are deployed, reduce the shield and lifesteal of enemy units by 40 up to 80%, which is cool. The lower the enemy's HP, the greater reduction. So those are all kind of like cool strategies. Really, the knockdown part is what's most important because the thing it literally tells you in this interface here, oops, wrong place. Go to the Easter Party, Easter Battle. We go to the challenge, like it tells you right here, recommendation, heavy armor, energy and knockdown with bonus damage so essentially what we're doing is we're running our res into our pandemonium and it's having some really really good results um now honestly we could probably pick something i don't think there's really anything offensively related here and i don't think there's anything that really buffs hp at least what i've seen so far uh this actually might be good reflecting some extra damage back but we don't have that one leveled up just yet uh so for now we're just going with dominate there's definitely better ones to use out there especially if you're an older player or spender but using res onto our pandemonium has been a very very awesome strategy and that's how we've gotten our new records on this right here so we're going to make sure we turn this off no we're actually not feeding our our uh, our nord with the res here we're actually trying to do it to the pandemonium and you'll see here the amount of damage that this commander does is absolutely crazy and awesome we're going to try to maximize these actives in pandemonium using res right after he uses that at ultimate ability here so we're going to do that right there get him charged up and you guys can see the amount of damage more damage than even nord is doing and if you know i mean that's something right if it's working that way so uh that is definitely the strategy we have employed putting a couple extra tank heroes out on the battlefield with him just to give more of that aoe damage and constant knockdown of these enemies too now this one's not great we've had other setups where we actually got our damage record where the more clump they are the better this one is very spread out and i don't think it's going to be a good result overall here um but we'll see we'll see we could run it a couple times and you'll be able to see i mean you have to run it so many times to get your bonus rewards anyway that it actually doesn't hurt just to do it ton of times a day and see how the heroes and the enemies kind of line up because the other thing is uh down the bottom here it seems like res was the one that actually initially attracted these two <laughs> down the bottom to come down here and now zadi is just kind of like taking care of him but you can see the crazy amount of damage that this commander is doing it is absolutely amazing and i'm loving the amount of damage it's putting out on top of that you can see the amount of damage pandemonium is doing it's on par pretty much with nord granted he's getting res to kind of initiate all that extra energy and all those extra ultimates and stuff but it's still very nice to see the damage output from someone besides nord in an aoe situation so this one doesn't look like it's going to be like a super great damage number here uh 16 seconds we're going to let pandemonium go off one more time and then we're going to feed this energy back to him one more time so he gets another ultimate more aoe they did kind of group up a little better at the end but you can see the amount of damage that this commander is doing and it's absolutely amazing uh not a record i don't think i think our record yeah was about six million six hundred thousand but again it really just comes down to how they're grouping up now we're on a new server so i'm doing pretty solid on overall rankings the big super whale on our server bad is just crushing the competition uh, but the fact that this event is server based is really really cool because like that i'm getting like rank two rewards um Looks like all time ranking on behind haha -ha still. I don't think haha's. -ha I don't know if he's actually participated today. Hold on. Has he not? Interesting. Anyway, let's go one more attempt here because I want to show you guys the example I was talking about how 
the way the enemies group kind of matters here. And again, res kind of jump into the side. I don't like that because now everybody's grouped over here. So what I'm going to do to fix that, I'm actually going to put res on the top side of the front line in hopes that because of the way he combat rolls out of the way, all the artists and everything coming in, yes, they're all grouped up right on those tanks now, and that's exactly what we want. Maximum exposure, especially around Pandemonium himself. Uh, we will, we are going to wait because he's almost at full energy anyway here, so we're going to let Pandemonium go with his big attack. Then we're going to feed it right back for another back-to-back -back attack. This should be much better damage this time around just because of the way the enemies are positioned now leo does move around quite a bit with his ultimate ability but it actually helped us out because now they're getting closer to our pandemonium which i really like uh again the way that like rez and him kind of synergize the their energy up like we got to kind of pause it and it is it does mean we're not using an ultimate on rez immediately every time but because pandemonium's taking so much damage he's gaining tons and tons of energy i like how grouped up everybody is and i'm thinking this might be a good attempt so positioning absolutely matters where you put your heroes because it is going to affect where these heroes kind of con like group up and, and just yeah the way it's doing now the knockdown effect that is what we're really going for here and if only we can get the other two closer to pandemonium as well it would just be even better which i think they might no doesn't look like it actually yeah they're they're all getting hit with that knockdown now leo did move out of the way but you can see how much even more damage he's doing this time around pandemonium has much higher damage than the nord did last time uh, so this is definitely working out as a positive for us. The enemies are actually more grouping up around Pandemonium too. If only Pandemonium had like a movement ability, like Nord's big leap and hit, it would be perfect to position him right in the middle of everybody. But you kind of just have to go with what you got here. And what we got this time seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I think we might get one nah, i don't think we're gonna get another ultimate off it'll be close three no probably not so we're gonna end this and let's see our total damage number here is yeah it was a lot a lot closer to the points we got here 1.2 billion damage uh 6.6 .6 million points so you guys can see positioning definitely matters but again like i said there's so many achievements here like for things i've already done them all because i've been grinding out a ton but like there are so many achievements you have to do tons of attacks anyway you might as well try to optimize it so hopefully that uh, kind of helps you guys out let me know you guys think let me know what strategies have worked for you in the comments down below share it with the community and i'll see you guys next time